But now, it's time for a drink. On this trip, I have indulged in one or two classic Irish beverages. But next, I'm going to do something completely different. I want to learn about one of the oldest alcoholic drinks in the whole world, made by two people who I understand are very good at making it. At the Kinsale Mead Company, Dennis and Kate Dempsey have revived everyone's favourite medieval tipple and taken it from the pages of Chaucer to the modern supermarket, winning plenty of awards along the way. So what is mead and how did you two get into mead? So the easiest way to describe mead is it's like a wine but made from honey. Okay. So like the, the sugars in grape juice ferment into alcohol and in honey it's the, the sugars in the honey ferments into the mead. Well from what I understand it is one of the oldest alcoholic drinks in the whole world. It goes back to at least six and a half thousand BC. Uh, they found some in a grave in China. Uh, so yeah, that's about 4,000 years before we invented the wheel. So how did you get into this? It was actually almost by accident. Uh, about five years ago, we were visiting the Hilatara, which is the great seat of our high kings in Ireland. And there's a building there, an old sort of foundation room called Tioc Macurta, the Great Mead Hall. 1,100 people used to sit in that Great Mead Hall in the 5th century every November and drink loads of mead. And it kind of just started us off on this journey of curiosity, which ultimately turned into us making lots of mead here in Kinsale. You Irish, honestly, you're really good at making booze, aren't you? My mead education started with a comparative honey tasting and a taste of the mead mid-fermentation. Mm. Slightly fizzy, very sweet. I mean, that's delicious. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's really nice at all stages, actually, whether it's sweet or, as we're going to try now, when it's matured after a couple of years in the barrel. To mature and add more complexity to their mead, Kate and Dennis use oak barrels from wineries and bodegas from France and Portugal. And I have to say, I'm looking forward to a taste. I mean, I've got to say, I think it's delicious. I mean, you get that honey sweetness, but there is that sort of almost sort of faint, I, I was going to say slightly almost Chardonnay type wine flavour to it, which is slightly sharp rather than being very fruity. And there's that lovely sweetness of honey that comes in the background as well. Mm. Oh, amazing. Next, a wild red mead fermented with black currants and dark cherries. So this is aged in a Merlot barrel that we got from Bordeaux, from the Margot area. Oh, but there's the sharpness that comes from that. That real makes you suck in, almost like a, a, like a raw cranberry. It does that, so very, very rich and slightly sharp, but delicious. Yeah, and you'll get some of that from the black currants as well. I mean, black currants are quite acidic and quite sharp. I mean, that would make amazing sorbet. Oh, there's an idea. That would be fantastic. As I go around Ireland, I, I cannot believe how much I do not know. Thank you so very much indeed. Um, I may have to take a, a few bottles of this back with me. Oh, you're most welcome, John. 